I hope I'm wrong, but I think we're heading for a global depression. America is now bankrupt. We're at the end of an empire right now. It is the end. It's the end of this. And um, all empires always come to an end. Mm. The Roman Empire, the Greek Empire, Chinese were the earliest. Chinese were the first guys to use paper. Right. So what we're looking at today is the end of the American empire. So it's a very dangerous time. It's explosive, you know, with Palestine and uh, Gaza. All the stuff that's going on is an end of times. Not biblical, but just an end of an era. And the trouble when this comes to an end, war follows. That's what I'm afraid of. If you're also a financial trailblazer, then this video is for you, because in this video, we're about to plunge into the heart of economic prophecy with none other than the iconic Robert Kiyosaki. Soft landing? Hard landing? Forget all that. Kiyosaki's sounding the alarms for a full-on crash landing, envisioning a storm on the horizon that could rival the tumultuous era of the 1930s. Now, he hopes he's wrong, but when the author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad starts waving the red flag, it's time to pay attention. What's the possibility of a depression? If we're following 1930, Very what's high. the possibility? Very high. So we have China going down, Japan's in trouble, the BRICs are coming up, we have a war going on, uh, unemployment uh, at all. Yeah. Bob, you know, I wrote uh, a year and a half ago, China is going to lead the world down into the abyss. That was my statement, the abyss. And China was always trumpeted as the locomotive of the global economy. The locomotive has stalled out, it's standing still. And in fact, it's probably in reverse gear. Where are we in this logarithmic decay where we hit the falls? Don't know, but we will hit that. And I think that's what you're so good at showing people is the little by little by little by little. And when the all at once comes, when none of us know when it probably on a Sunday night, if you're not prepared, not just with gold and silver in every way, I think um, it, it's going to be a very, uh, let's call it a religious experience. And, and one that I don't think will be very pleasant for the majority of the people who don't see what's coming and therefore have not and cannot get out of the way. Kiyosaki isn't new to the role of economic soothsayer. He's been here before, accurately predicting the seismic waves of the great financial crisis in 2008. Now, with an ominous sense of deja vu, he's back on the warning front lines, declaring that the stock market is teetering on the edge of another 1930-style crisis. It's a bold statement that demands our attention, especially coming from a man whose track record in foreseeing economic storms is as accurate as a compass. But this isn't just about forecasting doom and gloom. Kiyosaki is unveiling a playbook for those willing to seize opportunity in the face of crisis. Last year, he raised eyebrows by condemning an asset as speculative, only to perform a surprising about-face. Now he's asserting that if the stocks and bonds markets takes a nosedive, this asset's value could soar an astonishing 50 times. Hold on to your seats, because this time he's not stopping there. Kiyosaki is about to pull back the curtain on a new investment that he believes has the potential to multiply 50 times in the wake of a market crash. The economy stays down, it's hard to come back up. And now the good news is, is that for those who are prepared for it, like you and things like this, you'll do better. See, not everybody dies in a plane crash, some plane crashes. But... So, here's the deal. In this video, we're not just dissecting warnings, we're decoding a roadmap to cashing in on chaos. Kiyosaki is about to spill the beans on his insights into the impending crash and unveil an investment strategy that could turn financial adversity into unprecedented prosperity. Get ready for a wild ride. Robert Kiyosaki, the maverick mind behind the groundbreaking personal finance book Rich Dad Poor Dad, has once again set the financial world abuzz with his bold predictions and unwavering support for alternative assets. In a recent revelation that sent shockwaves through the investment community, Kiyosaki reiterated his belief in the enduring value of gold and silver, while signaling a resounding endorsement for the king of cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin. This is toilet paper. And everyday people save this stuff, and inflation is running at about 7% or something. Mm -hmm. Why do people save this? Because their education system 
says this is money. Of course. Why did not education teach us that this is money? And this is money for thousands of years. But they, our education system is complicit in teaching us to work with it. I'm saying, the message I want everybody to hear is the world is finding out that this is fake. It's not fiat, it's fake. And so the reason I don't get invited to CNBC anymore is because when I'm on there, <clears throat> I say I do not invest in anything that can be printed. You can print this. So would that include? But you cannot print this. Just in October of 2023, Kiyosaki painted a compelling picture for gold enthusiasts. The financial luminary boldly predicted that the price of gold would soar to $2,100 per ounce. Fast forward to the present, and Kiyosaki's crystal ball seems to be working exceptionally well. Gold is not just knocking on the $2,000 per ounce door, it has flung it wide open, defying gravity and trading above $2,000. At the time of Kiyosaki's prediction, gold was navigating the $1,900 territory, making his foresight not only accurate, but potentially lucrative for those who heeded his call. And now, he expects the price to rally up to $3,700 in the near future. The success story in gold sets the stage for Kiyosaki's broader thesis on the looming economic challenges. With inflation casting its ominous shadow on living standards worldwide, Kiyosaki is not one to mince words. He advocates for a strategic exit from what he labels the fake money system, urging his legion of followers to abandon the sinking ship of fiat currencies. In Kiyosaki's eyes, the average person clinging to traditional saving methods is a loser stark wake-up call that reverberates with a sense of urgency. So what does Kiyosaki propose instead? A triumvirate of financial fortitude. Gold, silver, and the much-celebrated Bitcoin. To Kiyosaki, these assets are not just investment choices, they are a lifeline in the face of a seemingly turbulent economic future. His clarion call echoes through the digital corridors of Twitter, reaching 2.4 million followers as he urges them not to be mere spectators in a financial system he deems corrupt and leaders he deems untrustworthy. Yet, Kiyosaki's stance doesn't stop at precious metals. He has been a vocal supporter of Bitcoin, championing it as a bulwark against economic uncertainty. So today we have an authority on gold and please pay very close attention because gold and silver are real money. And I also own Bitcoin because bit Bitcoin is people's money. You know, gold and silver are God's money. God put it here. And I'm not, not, not selling religion. And uh, no, you know, Bitcoin is just the people's response to the insanity running our financial systems. I think they're the problem. Central bank is Marxist. You know, control the centralized banking system. And that's why Bitcoin popped up. You know, bit, Bitcoin is capitalist. As fiat assets become an increasingly precarious endeavor, Kiyosaki advocates for a shift toward the decentralized and finite nature of cryptocurrencies, with Bitcoin leading the charge. He boldly asserts that Bitcoin's value could catapult to an astronomical $1 million if the stocks and bonds market were to plummet, a scenario he envisions as a potential crash landing for the economy. But Kiyosaki doesn't just criticize from the sidelines. He takes strategic action in response to his predictions. Fueled by a distrust in government policies and a belief that leaders don't have the average person's interests at heart, Kiyosaki reveals that he is actively moving his fiat assets into Bitcoin and precious metals. It's a practical manifestation of his philosophy, a philosophy that encourages individuals to take control of their financial destiny in a world ripe with uncertainty. As the cryptocurrency landscape evolves, Kiyosaki's endorsement of Bitcoin takes center stage. Despite the daily fluctuations in its value, he sees Bitcoin as a stronghold against the devaluation of traditional currencies. While Bitcoin is trading above $37,000 at the moment, Kiyosaki's long-term perspective emphasizes its resilience. In essence, Kiyosaki's commentary is not merely a series of warnings, but a call to action for those willing to challenge the status quo. It's an invitation to the financial trailblazers, urging them to question the system, educate themselves, and strategically position their wealth in assets that transcend the uncertainties of the current economic landscape. Whether one agrees with his assessments or not, Kiyosaki's voice resonates as a beacon of financial empowerment, 
encouraging individuals to take control of their financial destinies in a world where the only constant is change. In a world where economic outlooks fluctuate like the stock market itself, Robert Kiyosaki's predictions stand as both a warning and a roadmap. Whether you agree with his assessments or not, one thing is certain. Kiyosaki is a force to be reckoned with in the financial arena, challenging conventional wisdom and inspiring a movement toward financial empowerment in the face of an uncertain future. So, as the economic winds continue to shift, perhaps it is time to heed Kiyosaki's call and consider the allure of gold, silver, and Bitcoin as anchors in the storm. After all, in the financial adventure that lies ahead, a little foresight can go a long way.